I announce to you a new episode of Alex Goes Fishing. Enjoy. plan is I'm going to be using F1 Dark match line ground bait. Once I've put it in, I'm going to add one and a half to two pints of water in. I'm going to gradually add it in, adding small amounts at a time, not trying to over wet it. But probably what will happen is it will like it will look nice and stodgy, but after a couple of minutes it will dry out. As you can see, it looks good, but you have to wait. Right, it's been a while and you can see how dry it is. So we're going to add another pint of water in. You can see it's getting much more thicker. But again, we're going to have to let it dry out because this is going to develop in. And the water will be soaked into the ground base. So we have to wait a bit longer. This will be the last. We're going to use half a pint of um, water instead now. Just develop it into. Now it should be almost ready. And as you can see, we want a kind of, not stodgy, but a damp. Like a quite a damp ground bait. So it's not like it can't be moulded, but just enough so it can be put into a nice ball and it can easily fall apart into the water. Now I'm going to be using a 50 milliliter tiny little pot but before I do that I'm going to put in three 500 milliliter cups of ground bait this is going to be my less richer. This is going to be the one I'm going to be feeding in most of the day. Then I'm going to put I'm going to put in about a nice handful of chop finely chopped worms into a 50 milliliter cup. Including with that uh casters and dead maggots. I will also now prepare my more richer ground bait, which I will still I will use three cups of ground bait. This is going to contain more richer stuff, more maggots, more casters, more worm, basically. And as you can see here, I'm just chopping up the worms 
and I'm going to add them into the ground bait. As you can see, I have probably about 10 milliliters, maybe 15 milliliters of my, uh, chopped up worm, about 20 milliliters of uh, casters, and yeah, the rest are um, dead maggots. Just plopping that into the less richer ground bait. I'm going to add a tiny bit more casters and worms to that. Then I'm going to mix that up, make it nice and mix, I guess, if you can say that. Now we're going to prepare the more richer ground bait. For this, I'm going to use about 20 milliliters of worms, basically the rest of the worms, and about 20 milliliters of casters, and about 10 milliliters of maggots. And then I'm also going to add another 25 milliliters of casters and 25 millimeters of dead maggots and live maggots. And I'm going to chop them up finely and put that into the ground bait. As you can see right now, I'm chopping them up, just getting them prepared. Now I'm going to add that in, and I'm going to mix it up and make it nice and Mixed, I guess, if you can say that. Gonna add a bit more dead maggots into that. Right, and I think we're just about ready. Hi, let's Welcome get fishing. To episode of Alex Goose Fishing. Today I'm fishing at Makins for silvers mainly. So I catch a carp. It's not really a bonus fish, it only weighs just one pound. This is the first of three sessions for the Guru Talent Pathway. Basically, see who can fit fish in the finals, which is in Serbia this year on the canal. And um, what I'm going to be fishing is fishing one 5 meter line and one 11.5 meter. The rigs I'll be using for the 11.5 meter is a one gram float down to no, buckshot, not buckshot, sorry. And then stocks down to a couple ones down here, just one down here, with a Guru F1 pellet, size 18 foot thick. Down to my five meter, I'm going to be using a Guru Guru 0.4 Fin float, close in, for more accuracy and sink faster. Got some more shots, and then about two inches of space between each shot, going down to another F1 pellet with a size 80. Basically, that's the whole plan, and let's have a look at the bait. Now, for my bait, I'm using two different types, well, the same type of ground bait, F1 sweet. This is my rich, a very rich ground bait. As found one, I'm correct, 1,000 liters. This has 1,500. 
and then what I'm going to be doing, basically this is for bigger feeding, this is for smaller balls, golf ball sizes, things like this. Then, for feeding, on the hook, I'm going to have maggots, live maggots, or casters feeding dead maggots or casters. That's really the plan, not much to it, let's hope we catch some.
Just wanted to add, guys, at the end of the video, um, we did it. We had 100 subscribers. We actually have 101 now. So I'm going to be making a video tomorrow. Not really. I think there might be a bit of fishing in it. But I think it's mainly going to be about what I do in a day. Or what I do on a Sunday, really. Um, yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching. Let's have a look at the outro.